Hey YouTube, how's everybody doing? It's John Dorn, bringing you some CPA exam tips. Uh, I hate when people just blah blah blah, so we're going to hop right into it. But first, you're wondering, thinking, what the, what the hell am I listening to you for? Well, I failed my first two CPA exams, and then I passed my last two CPA exams. So I'm two for four, but I'm on a two exam winning streak. So I've learned, I've learned a lot, and uh, through my own trial and error, and... I'm just going to give you some tips. Number one, multiple choice, multiple choice, multiple choice. Multiple, multiple choice test banks if possible. Um, it's always good to see the questions from a different source, asked a different way. And I always like to go through them, go through all the questions once, then, then do something else for a week maybe. A different test bank, uh, lectures, write notes, and, and then come back to them so you don't learn the actual questions. Because, you know, I'd be going through the questions sometimes and I would learn the answers, and you're just not learning that way. Um, also, I. Uh, I did um, uh, when I, I failed the reg multi I failed the reg exam my first time with 68, and it's because I was doing um, you know 100 questions from all the different areas at once, and I was just getting I was getting 91s on them. I was getting too sure of myself, <clears throat> but I had memorized all the answers so. Uh, vary it up, vary it up. Tip number two. Get your material from different places, as many different places as you can. Um, different views are great, so you see it from different angles. Like for the FAR exam, for bonds, I must have looked at about 15 different YouTube videos. And, you know, I, I picked up maybe one word from this video one word from this video and I finally was like ah that's bonds you know it's definitely different places is great tip number three go to the AICPA and do the sample tests uh, they have you know five five multiple choice questions and then they have a couple simulations uh, all of them except BEC, which doesn't have simulations, but they have the written communication. But anyways, it gives you the exact feel. Uh, you can use a calculator, the authoritative literature for the simulations, and you know to not have to waste uh, valuable time on figuring out the layout or how the calculator works. You know, check it out beforehand. Unfortunately you have you can't use a Mac on it so I have Macs so I have to go to the library and use it but it's very important to use it and that kind of brings us into tip four which is know how to use the authoritative literature uh, first time around on reg I failed with a 68 I went in there I, I used a sample test you know like only once and I really didn't know the authoritative literature too much and you know a research question is going to be on there and you know the sweat was pouring down I I didn't think I was doing it right I wasted like 15 minutes got it wrong um, and I didn't really know how to use the authoritative literature so I uh, I got some simulation a package, a simulation package for like a hundred dollars from somewhere, one of the companies, and I practiced it for like half an hour every day, you know, for about a month, and I got really good at the uh, the research, the the authoritative literature on the reg. So by the time I got to the simulations, I went to the research question, boom, nailed it in like two minutes. So I knew I had those points. And after I finished all the simulations, I had about 20 minutes left. So I thought, you know, what could I, what, what could I find in the authoritative literature rather easily, and get some points. 
and that's what I did. You know, I knew where things were. I knew the layout of it, and I got an 83 on the, on the reg, and that was a month later. Tip five, last tip for the day. It's the CPA exam is mile long, inch thick, meaning you don't have to know the depths of each question. And I wouldn't say, you know, spend three hours on a depth of a question, and that might not even be on the exam. You know, I usually just, I usually go around until I know everything a little bit, and then I'll delve a little deeper, delve a little deeper, delve a little deeper. Well, that was uh, exam tips for CPA part one. Uh, there's going to be more to come. I'm um, taking audit November 20th, so there's going to be a lot of audit videos. I start studying for that. Comment, like, subscribe, share, and... Good luck on the CPA test.